Sun Chowdy Day. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark Free 408. Just taking the Maverick for a little rip. As you can see, I have not washed it. It is quite very dirty. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go check out the river. Maybe uh, dip the tires in the water. Wash them off like that. Uh, if you guys have seen this thing yet, the old impact train horns, there's a link below, and this thing is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, I use it all the time to scare people. And I have the giant battery on it for no reason at all. <laughs> Let's check out the river. Yeah, the river is definitely high. Isn't it crazy the water comes up to here? Like stuff just floats down the river, people's docks, their chunks of wood for burning. Like the river goes right up to up there in the spring. It's high right now, but compared to how it usually is, it's pretty low. A little four by four. Try not to get falling off-ish. I don't have my rubber boots on either, so I don't want to go in too deep. This is the best way to clean your side by side. Let's drive through the water. I'm thinking let's throw up the drone, get some drone shots. Then let's go burn some tires off the old F-150, eh? The old 2023. Here we go. Oh, just majestic it is. It is indeed. Sweet little drone flight. Scared the geese. Oh, that's a rip it. We have a situation. My keys are in the truck. My spare keys are at home. I have not programmed a new code into this thing. I don't know the code. And I have not hooked up my Ford app to it. <laughs> oh dear. We might be locked out. Give me a minute. There's my keys, right? I know it's focusing on the window. They're in the cup holder because my dad was driving it. One time in high school, I smacked these buttons as many times as I could for a few minutes and eventually the door opened, but I've been trying that. It doesn't seem to work. I'm gonna have to borrow my dad's car and run it down and get my spare set of keys. I knew I should have set up the Ford app. I was too lazy and didn't feel like it. And now I'm locked out. Bam. Well, I couldn't break in, so I have to head back to town, get my keys, and then come back and grab my truck, and then film the video. <laughs> oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. And I got my key back to London. All that red stuff is because when I cleaned out my truck, Laura's lipstick was in there, so I threw it in my pocket and it exploded everywhere. And of course, this thing is on empty and my wallet is in the truck so hopefully I don't run out of gas. Back to the farm. Thank you, Kia. We're back. Hopefully this is the right key. Come here. Yeah. All right, let's go burn some rubber. What's up, guys? Alrighty, we are headed down the track. Me, myself, and I. My dad's already down there. He's helping me out today. The boys were busy. It has not stopped raining in five days. It's not raining right now, but it just stopped for a few minutes. I'm sure it's going to fire back up again. So everything is wet, everything is moist, and it's time to burn the tires off my truck. So I basically decided we're going to lift the back of the truck up onto the cars and let her burn. Let her, let her ride. Let her ride. So I got the Yankum rope because it's a lot stronger than the straps. <laughs> I've tried to use a strap before and they break. 
which is fine on a crappy car, but if they broke on my brand new truck and the truck fell and landed on the car and you know smashed a bumper off, I would not be good. Because things are very expensive these days. Especially if you build them, you know, by parts. So let's grip and rip it! Cheers to Brad, Brad Sunshine Day. As you can see, lots of mud over there. Definitely not time for a moto, that's for sure. Oh well, time to get a little mud on the tires on the truck. Look at the freshie, she's looking good. <laughs> Let's roll. So the plan is to push these cars together and somehow get the back of my truck on the hood of these cars. I'm not sure how. We did it with the Maverick last week. As you can see, I mostly ended up on the window though. So we'll have to basically lift it, back it on, and then I'm gonna strap it so it can't take off as well because that would suck. Might also rip this thing for a hot minute. Take it for a little joyride. Did you find some mud? I did. <laughs> I drive so that we wouldn't make it worse. Oh, perfect. I was going to say <laughs> throw it four by, but I was hoping you would figure it out. Yeah, so. so we're going to basically lift the back of this on top of those cars, similar to what we did with the Maverick. You're going to put your new truck on top of the cars? Yeah. Really? Why not? Okay. It's just a lease. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why they make insurance, right? So we have these general tires. I put them on last year. They're still pretty good, but I have I have like three extra sets, so I might as well burn a set off. These General Grabber ATs, absolutely amazing. I've been using them all winter. So good in the snow. All right, we're gonna take the Dodge for a little spin first though. Okay. This, this old unit. So you can shut this thing down for now. I wonder if the sticker's ready yet. It's probably baked right on there, Mark. Yeah, I know. Scott was really adamant about getting it on there. It's pretty baked on now, but so is the tape. <laughs> the covering over top yeah. of it. Oh, I don't feel like doing a whole thing. Alright, let's see if we can have some fun with this thing. I don't even know if it's going on. Oh yeah, it runs. Ooh, that didn't sound good. I think he's going to lift his new truck onto this car, but he's going to move the car first. Let's see. Okay. Metal on metal. It's starting to rain now, Mark. Ooh, it's starting to rain. All right, so my plan is basically back the truck up, lift off the hitch with the yank and rope around the bucket, and we'll kind of back it on. I'll strap the truck so it can't go anywhere, and then really just do a reverse burnout. Okay. Let's do it. Is 
is a brand new truck. I hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> this is her Yankum rope. She's a little muddy from last time, but it does the trick. down Mark I'm glad you got this umbrella in your truck. <laughs> yeah the umbrella comes in quite handy eh? It's huge I think it would fit three people. Uh, all right so I'm gonna get you to drive this I'm gonna lift you up you're just gonna back up slowly I want to honk to hit the brakes. Okay. That work? All right. Let's do it. See how well this works. Yeah, just slowly ride it. Ah, uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to tighten up this rope. Back ends up in the air. Never done this before. This makes me nervous. Round two. Put some air time with the truck. Shoulder forward a little bit. I don't know, I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think we're gonna be able to get far enough back. So basically, I don't think it's gonna be able to back up far enough to get for the wheels to reach here. So, um, gonna have to figure something out here. Try back it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, see, that's our issue. I don't really wanna risk ripping off the back end of my truck. <laughs> uh. I can't get her under there. <laughs> I do have one more idea though. We, uh, we lift it up higher and I drive the Dodge underneath it. These cars don't move unfortunately anymore, so. All right, new plan. Uh, once I let you down, then I'll unhook it. And uh, basically, I'll just back up and I'll get you to go like right here. Okay. And then I'll pull the Dodge underneath it. Okay. A little reposition here. General tires doing good. Keep going. All right, good. Bucket's really scary. Yeah, we'll just basically put it right here. Watch out for the old exhaust there. First mud on the new truck. So your car's pretty smart. Yeah, a lot of them have a safety thing now. Should do the job. <laughs> All right, I'll go grab the Dodge and uh, line her up here. Okay, you got a little uh, thing there, okay.
It's a little more narrow than the wheelbase of the truck, so we'll be doing an inside burnout. Looks like a one wheel peel. She's burning. <laughs> the ideas we come up with. That's to the mat. <laughs> Woo! Pretty okay. nasty. <laughs> well, smell that, eh? Look at this. Our tread did not even touch. Complete inside burnout. Work is that to uh, wipe, uh, wipe all the rubber off the windshield? Oh God! I should have left the windshield wipers off. That's all melted on rubber now. Oh man. Oh, how oh, you live and you learn, right? Live and you learn. All right, let's get this thing off here before I rip the entire sidewall off these tires. Of course we had to do one more. Why not, right? Oh my god, these windshield wipers are struggling. All good though, all good. Alright, let's uh I guess I gotta back the dodge out, we'll drop it down, get out of here and go have some other fun. Oh my god, that's <laughs> all melted rubber. That's completely melted off. You'll there. never get that off now. No. Yeah, well, that's why you do it to scrap vehicles and not my own. Let's lower this thing down and get her back on the uh, four wheels there. Oh, yeah, like just rubber on everything. <laughs> Climb up in there. Whew. It smells like burnt rubber. Hopefully, it doesn't pull the tractor over. Lower him down. I just basically told him to put it in drive and roll forward a little bit. Just... Huh? Really? That's weird. She in gear now? It helps to start it. It always helps to start it first. Just go for a little bit. Ah! 
That's good. Perfect. All right, let's get these ropes off of here and get him out of here. So when we say we're successful here, Mark? Successful mission, yeah. Unfortunately, nope. we couldn't do it on the smaller cars, but you know it still works on the Dodge trucks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back up and I'll wrap up the video up there. So. Okay, and no harm was done to the no uh, harm was farm done. animals. Bit of, bit of rubber, but that all washes off. So the tires are still holding there. That's always a win. Good thing you went through the mud too and coated the inside of the wheel well. So we're good to go. There we are. All right, we'll see you at the house. Oh, you're sliding in the mud. Up in there. That's only for the Civic. Sorry about the wind noise. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, should be good. Good old general tires. 80% of the time, every time. All right, let's get back. Oh yeah, I love doing this stuff. Love doing the car stuff. I wish I could get more cars, but obviously YouTube keeps me in a pretty tiny, dark rabbit hole so hopefully we can boost up views get some more cash so we can buy more cars and then obviously once my Facebook stuff is sorted too I'll be buying a lot more cars but for now we can only do a few at a time I'm also working full-time too so I'm working full-time plus juggling YouTube and Facebook which is also pretty much a full-time job so I'm doing seven days a week pretty much 12 hours a day good time zone all right let's get up there blow some mud and this is the reason I've been burning those tires off because I have two sets of those. I have a set of these ones, all general tires. Uh, these are the Graver APT. These are a little less aggressive, more of a road style. And then these are the uh, Graver ATX, I believe. Yeah, ATX. Like I said, great tire. They're studdable. Ran them all winter, absolutely amazing. Highly recommended. Check out the links below. The old walk back, get the steps up. My dad parked at the house. He was in a rush. Meetings, meetings, meetings. Anyways, glad that went well. Glad we didn't destroy my truck. Glad we could do a little burnout. Obviously, still lots of tread left on those tires since we only kind of burnt the sidewall off, which definitely isn't good, but there's, they're, they're thick. They're good to go. Anyways, have a fantastic day. As you can see, the sun's trying to poke out, but I'm sure more rain is coming. Check out the links below. Pick yourself up some 408 merch. And then, yeah, we'll see you later. There's a helicopter. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Have a fantastic... I can't even talk. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye-bye.